welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. You thought I wasn't going to come back, but you know I'm back. I'm back in full effect, and today we're going to be building the Lexington 3 tier rolling cart slash storage unit. So I purchased this from Michaels, and it usually retails for about $60, but I got it for $30 with that good old 50% coupon, you know. And yes, I just hit the box because it was a pain in the ass trying to take this thing apart. So we are going to unpack and build this thing together. So stay tuned or whatever, you know. But yeah, I got the mint color because I wanted a pop of color in my space. So I'm just going to show you what's in the box and what you're going to get if you do decide to purchase this item. Okay, so everything is out of the box. We are going to see what we have in here. So we don't need that. Um, you get a set of four wheels. You get two sets of four dowels. And then you get four knobs. They so cute, right? And then you get um, nine connector screws. Screws? I mean screws. <laughs> and then oh, let's take a good look at this. Like you got the mesh detailing in the back. How cute. And then you know this curved detailing. Like, excuse me, you're too cute. Anyway, so we have this. Um, <laughs> don't mind me pushing it like it's a cart, but um, yeah. This is basically the bottom of the cart, and it's so nice. It's very lightweight, sleek, you know, beautiful. Ooh, ah, yes. Magic. Anyway, so let's get started. So I'd like to lay everything out just to get a picture of everything that I have. So, you know, I'm just trying to make my video cute, and this doesn't want to, like, stay in its place. Like, stay in your place. Like, ugh. It's always that one like can you just anyway you need eight of these um, connector screws and yeah look at that one like why, why you gotta be so like anyway so we have this wheel we have four of them and you're gonna have two that have the brakes on them four knobs for the people that didn't hear in the back this little miniature wrench and we have our instructions so let's get started so I'm going to start with one of the dowels and using the connector screw on the shorter end we'll go inside and we're just going to screw that in. Um, I don't know what this little thing on my finger is but ew, anyway, so we're just going to screw that in and then we're going to do that to the other four um, dowels. So yes, we are getting things done here. Okay, so the remaining four um, connector screws will be used for the bottom of the cart. So we're gonna use all four and put them into each part like so. Ugh, like why can't my video be cute? Like can you? Anyway, um, let's try that again. Okay, so, uh, okay, that was a fail, but okay, you get the idea. There should be four screws in each one. Good, got it, yes, let's go. All right, so now we're going to put in our first tier. So we're gonna put this into the hole and you know, girl, like get it together. I am like, okay, I'm just, we're just gonna work it out, okay? Cause it's not that stable. I would suggest put in one of the dowels first so it kind of like holds it in place. But yes, we are getting things done here. Okay, so now with the dowel, with the, um, the side that's open, you're going to connect that to the screw. Screw it up, screw it up, screw it up. Okay, now that that's on there tight and fabulous, okay. We're going to add the second tier. Now make sure you put them in the right area. Okay, there is no other area, but you know what I mean. We're gonna use the remaining four dowels and we're just going to connect them on all four sides like so. Now we're going to add the last tier and then also use the connecting knobs. I'm just going to screw these bad boys in. 
oh my god we are like 85 percent done like look at us we did it it's cute it's so cute Then we're gonna flip this bad boy over so we could put the wheels on. Um, and for this, don't don't flip it over. It was actually a pain in the ass trying to, you know, get the wheels in there because it kept on wobbling. So I would say put it on its side. But we're going to put the first wheel in, and then we're going to use our fingers to screw it in, and then use the wrench to make sure that it's tight. As you can see here, I laid it flat on its side because it was much more easier to get the, the wheel in. Yes, look at her, she is fabulous. <laughs> twirl, baby, twirl. <laughs> okay, you better twirl, girl. All right, nah, that's enough. So now we're just going to add our goodies to our cart. So I'm gonna start with my paint brushes and then also add my water cups. Now we're gonna add my little paints that we have here and like boom, 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 you like that. And um, both sides, I have the large ones and the small ones. I got this um, three part container from the container store. Oh, you like how I did that? Anyway, I got that from the container store a few years ago. I'm pretty sure they still have it there. And I'm going to use these just to separate my smaller paints. So my watercolors and my gouache paint will be separated into these sections here. Yes, like so, okay, yes. Oh, what is that on my hand? Anyway, um, I'm also going to add this masking tape. I have two. Add in my chalk. I usually use this to outline um, a drawing once I've already painted the canvas. Then I'm going to add my Posca. Pasha, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I've had it for a few years now. They're still pretty good. <laughs> um, my acrylic paint markers, and then I'm going to put that into my Target cup. Voila, here we are. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, get into it. Get into it. Thank you guys for watching and you will see me on the next video, okay? Because you thought I wasn't going to come back, but I'm back and full of fat. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, let me stop acting the damn fool. Thanks guys for watching again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.